It's called the Supreme Araman Mantra. And the reason why this mantra is called the Supreme Araman Mantra is not just because it calls his name, but this particular mantra is efficacious. Always. There is no wrong time to recite the Supreme Araman Mantra, regardless of the phases of the moon or any circumstance whatsoever. 
The Supreme Aravon Mantra is always effective. It, uh, someone overhearing the Supreme Aravon Mantra is indeed blessed, or cursed as the case may be, but uh, affected anyway. And we're going to begin. Usually, usually the beads have 108, not counting the victory bead. So we'll begin to recite, we'll move one bead every time. That is the length of the meditation. So we'll recite and move it, recite and move it, and you go all the way around. When we focus, whatever we pick to focus on, I'm going to focus on Father Aravon. Now I'm not going to recite the whole thing, because that would be longer than the video I've even recorded yet. It's okay. But we'll give you a mantra. Bismarck O'Day and new interest in Aramon. We'll begin. You could you could make a rope and just put knots in it. It doesn't need to be beads. Everything you use for the worship, you should not need money. Money is nice. But you shouldn't need any money to acquire these things or make them yourself. <clears throat> and I'll do uh, just 27 of the repetitions, okay? So follow with me and uh, replay the video if you like. And we can do the mantra together. It's a simple enough mantra. So I think I think if you find a focus point or make one, look at images of Aramon and create an idol. Something look at. Recite to that idol. 
That's a good way to begin. It's a simple enough beginning. Thank you.